Hey guys, it's Georgie and you're watching MTV News. Marnie Simpson is spilling all of the tea in her new book, including the one person she's extremely terrified of. Vicky Patterson terrifies me. She is like the scariest person ever. With the book, I couldn't hold back. I had to be so brutally honest. Whether it was going to upset people or not, it represents me. So, Vicky Patterson, Lewis Brown, no, I'm, I don't care. They can all just do one. <laughs> ah, best frenemies forever. Alex Bowen and Olivia Buckland have some tips for you if you ever find yourself falling in love, stuck on an island, and in the middle of a reality TV show about falling in love on an island that's unsurprisingly titled Love Island. You gotta stay true to yourself and not just jump into bed with anyone because it ends up looking really bad and you don't actually like the person everyone thinks you do, but you don't. Make sure that you don't give it all in the beginning. Not everything in just that basket. Eggs in one Keep basket. Keep them guessing because they're gonna think that they've got you because you're in this villa and they think they want you, you think they want you, but you don't know what they're really up to. So you gotta have your game of You gotta be wary. Be wary. But not too wary. There's like a line of wariness and not wariness. You gotta be in there, in that little, in that little gap. Too wary, not wary enough. In the middle wary of the right So on a scale of not wary at all to very wary, where are you folks? Chloe Moritz is appalled and angry at the marketing campaign for her new animated film Red Shoes, and rightly so because it's a body shaming mess so big that it could practically body shame itself. But it shouldn't because it shouldn't be body shaming anything. The poster causing the controversy shows a tall skinny Snow White next to a shorter curvier one, paired with the caption, what if Snow White was no longer beautiful, suggesting that slim equals stunning and big equals ugly. Well, this concept equals idiotic and Chloe equals pissed. She tweets. I have now fully reviewed the marketing for Red Shoes. I am just as appalled and angry as everyone else. This wasn't approved by me or my team. She goes on to say, The actual story is powerful for young women and resonated with me. I am sorry for the offence that was beyond my creative control. And leave it to model Tess Holiday to ask the question we're all wondering. How did this get approved by an entire marketing team? You'd think that it's 2017, so we'd all be relatively onto these things by now, but with Pepsi Gate and this, I, I don't know. Can someone explain this to me? What new campaign is Camille Cabello now the face of? Guess. Yeah, guess. No, 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 don't actually guess. The brand she's the face of is Guess. Camille says, I couldn't be more excited to partner with Guess on this incredible campaign. I've grown up loving their aesthetic and not in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd be lucky enough to be a part of it. And of course she looks like a mega babe in the pics, cruising around the Californian desert with an equally mega babe as they both live life on the edge, bursting into spontaneous dance in the middle of the road. I mean, come on guys, that's dangerous. A car could come by, you're just standing, sorry, hanging there. Let's just hope you're better behaved in other areas of your relationship because safety first, kids. That's all from me, guys. I'll see you next week.